Hello from the Crystal Coast. This is Pastor Kevin, and it's Thursday, October the 21st. I'm reading through the Bible this year in the Bible Project's uh, biblical storyline, and I'm in the Gospel of Mark now. Mark was uh, probably the first of uh, the Gospels written. <clears throat> uh, Mark compiled all the eyewitness accounts from Peter and I put them together. And it's interesting the way he puts his account of the life of Jesus together, his good news about Jesus. <clears throat> there are three main sections, and each one of them ends with uh, a reference to a particular response to Jesus. And so uh, today I want to share with you the first one. Uh, in Mark chapter 4, you get to the end of chapter 4, and it says... Then on that day, when evening had come, he said to them, Let us go across uh, the other side. So they're on the, the Sea of Galilee, uh, that lake. And leaving the crowd, they took him with them in the boat, just as he was. And other boats were with him. A great windstorm arose, and the waves were breaking into the boat, so that the boat was already filling. So this is a, this is a pretty intense situation. But he was in the stern. Jesus is in the stern. He's asleep on the cushion. So it's been a long day. A lot going on. He's tired. He's taking a nap. They woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? <clears throat> he awoke and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. The wind ceased. There was a great calm. And he said to them, Why are you so afraid? Have you still no faith? They were filled with great fear and said to one another, Who then is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? So <clears throat> it's interesting. At the end of this first major section in the Gospel of Mark, uh, the initial response to Jesus was one of fear. Why are you so afraid? They were filled with great fear. So, <clears throat> just a couple of statements to you, just to encourage you, to help build you up in your faith. The first one is this, that walking with Jesus today may actually lead you right into a storm. Yeah, just because you're growing in your faith, just because you're depending upon Jesus, does not mean that everything in your life will be calm and peaceful and still. <clears throat> yeah, stay, stay with Jesus, and, and he may lead you right into the middle of a storm. Here's a second thought, uh, that being in a storm is not the end of the world. I mean, their initial response was, in the midst of this storm on the Sea of Galilee, do you not care that we're perishing? We're perishing. We're perishing. Sometimes, <clears throat> I, sometimes I feel like when I find myself in the middle of the storm, I feel like my world's coming to an end. And and the reality is, it's, it's not. It's just not. So, take a breath. Uh, being in a storm is not the end of the world. Here's a here's the third thing. Jesus knows what's going on in your life, and He cares. Their question was, "Teacher, don't you care that we're perishing?" As if to say, "Jesus, hey, look what's going on here. Are, look, you are. Don't you care about this?" Here's the truth. God knows exactly what's going on in your life right now. You're in the middle of a storm. He He knows exactly where you are, and just because you're in the middle of a storm does not mean he cares for you less. Uh, his care for you never changes, never changes. <clears throat> and then finally here, if you want to experience more peace in your life, focus on getting to know Jesus. Have you still no faith? He, he, they, they, they wondered, who then is this? Who, who, what kind of guy is this? The, the more they get to know Jesus, the more they're going to be able to experience peace in the middle of whatever storm is raging in their lives. And the same thing is true for us today. 
So here's my question of the day for you. When have you thought that your world was coming to an end? What, what circumstance was going on in your life where you thought, this is it, the wheels have come off, uh, this, this is, this is going to be the end for me? How did you make it through that storm? What, how did you uh, navigate those difficult days? What did you learn about God uh, in the midst of that storm? Let me pray for you today. <clears throat> Father, uh, we so need to uh, learn how faithful you are, how consistent you are, and how much you care for us. Even, and even in the midst of uh, difficult days, when we feel like we're in the middle of a storm and the, the wheels have come off and we're, uh, we're not going to be able to take another step forward, it's in those times that we need to experience more of who you are. And so thank you. Thank you for navigating us into the midst of those storms. Thank you for being with us in those storms. Thank you for, for being able to provide peace for us in the, in the midst of whatever is going on in our lives. And so help us to respond to you in a way that demonstrates that we really do depend upon you and we're looking, we're looking to you in the midst of difficult days, even uh, uncertain days like we live in right now. We're grateful for your presence in Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> If you came across this video in our email blast that we send out every Tuesday and Thursday, I hope you'll take a minute and look at uh, the information that's included in that email. You're going to find a link, a link to a voter's guide that has uh, responses from uh, some local candidates to some questions that uh, were sent to them by our community impact team. So just some information for you as uh, you get ready for this upcoming uh, election. You'll also find information about a couple of our upcoming events, uh, um, some efforts that we're engaged in to reach out and share the good news with people in our community and to the ends of the earth. And then uh, finally, Sunday is going to be a great day. As we gather uh, for worship, you're going to be introduced to a group of men who are being recommended to uh, serve as our interim elder council. And then I've got a special treat for you uh, this coming Sunday that you're just not going to want to miss. Until then, thanks for uniting in the passionate pursuit of the next generation.